hello my dear students i hope you are enjoying this series on vector calculus in today's video we are talking about gradient of a scalar field so what is a scalar field i already told you what is a scalar field scalar field is uh, just a function for example at every point in x y z plane we can have a function f x y z so that is our scalar field so this means that to every point we are assigning a scalar quantity now what is gradient for gradient for gradient we have to know what is del operator what is del operator so del operator is just this operator which is curly x by curly i cap plus curly y by curly j cap plus curly y by curly z k cap right so this is an operator operator means it will do something to your functions when you apply them on your functions for example if i i am talking about gradient of f gradient of f is nothing but this del operator operated on that function so if you just by your intuition look at like how this operator is going to work on any function f x y z then that is going to be like this curly f by curly x i cap plus curly f by curly y j cap plus curly f by curly z k cap right so this is the gradient of a scalar field f so this is this is what we call at we call as this is gradient of a scalar function f right so now now if you look at this right so what this quantity is telling you like okay so for before that we can also uh, recall that we can also extend this can be extended to higher dimensions right for example if you have four dimensions then you can have maybe you have your coordinate system then you have x y z then you have four vectors and so on right so you can extend it to higher dimension for example if i have this uh, del operator in n dimensions i can denote it like this curly x by curly x2 curly x by curly x2 x1 x2 and xn right so we can just write because we don't know the unit vectors in n dimension so we just write it like this and when you operate it on any function f you have curly f by curly x1 comma curly f by curly x2 comma curly f by curly xn so this is your this is your gradient operator right okay so now you may be thinking what is the physical significance of gradient operator so this is very important because we we want to use it in you know actual practice so where we we will see the usefulness of these gradients and we are also going to define divergence and curl so what is the physical significance uh, as we can see that gradient of f is just curly f by curly x i cap plus curly f by curly y j cap plus curly f by curly z k cap now if you look at this quantity this is uh rate of change of f with respect to x rate of change of f with respect to x and this is with respect to y change and this is with respect to z change right so this is kind of this for example you have the, your surface fx y z at any point right so you you have your gradient vector so this gradient vector somehow tells you something about the change in that function in that scalar field right and then we also have this thing we we also have something called directional derivatives directional derivatives are basically if if i have my function fx y z and i have a vector a i want to see how much f is changing if i move along a vector right so for that it turns out that directional derivative is you take the gradient vector and then you take its dot product with the unit vector in the direction where you are looking for the change so this quantity here tells you that given a scalar field f and if you are looking for change in 
that particular function f along a vector a then you have to just multiply the gradient vector with the uh, you have to take the dot product of the gradient vector with the unit vector in the direction you are interested in right and now you can see that this is a change directional derivative directional derivative means change in directions of your choice for example curly f by curly x is rate of change of f with respect to our x axis that is unit i vector so you it's not of your choice if you want to choose any a vector and you want to see how much your function is changing when you are moving in that direction only right so that is curly f by uh, dot product with unit vector so this is curly f magnitude unit vector a magnitude cos of the angle between them right for example if we are on the surface fx y right uh, uh, fx y z equal to say c then at any point you have a gradient vector and then this is the directional derivative in any direction so this will be maximum when cos theta is 1 cos theta 1 means the angle between that is a vector is parallel to gradient vector right parallel and in same direction and if it is opposite direction so that means the change when you are on the surface change in fx y z is maximum along the direction of gradient of f right in the direction of gradient of f it is increasing and in the direction of opposite to gradient of f it is decreasing so for example so this thing is you know uh, the back, uh, backbone of many uh, optimization methods for example gradient descent method for example suppose you are on a mountain and you want you are standing here right and you want to come down then what is the best direction to move down is the direction along the gradient of f right uh, opposite minus gradient of f because that way the change will be maximum right so you'll be uh, moving faster uh, down the hill right so that is the uh, basis of many optimization methods we'll see it later on okay so if we if you just study this artificial intelligence or machine learning you'll see that there are so many applications of this thing that gradient of f is the direction of maximum change in f right Thank you for watching this video. We'll be doing divergence and curl in the coming videos. Please subscribe to this channel and share this video. Happy learning.